Dear Diary, They say friends are the family we choose, which by implication means our family is the family we don't choose. If you're wondering why I'm stating something that obvious, wait until you meet my father. That's him. He is death. And I don't mean that like in he's dead serious or he bores me to death. No, he literally is death, ruler over the underworld, reaping the souls of the living after they pass away. Well, that alone wouldn't be much of a problem. I mean, other children have cruel parents as well. Parents who are tax officers, lawyers, or even teachers. My problem is, for days, I've been dreaming of this human boy crying out for me. I don't know him, but I have the strong feeling that I have to come and help him. However, father would never ever allow me to travel to the land of the living because he's practically afraid of everything I want to do. I'm not to play basketball since I might get a splinter in my finger. I must not go into the forbidden forest because, quote, an unimaginable evil lives there, unquote. And the land of the living, you might guess it, is a no-go as well. Don't get me wrong. I usually do what father tells me, but not this time. This time, I'm going to find a way to escape. The catch? We've just had a big fight. And eventually, Father grounded me and locked me up inside my room. So I have to find a way to get out of here first. Maybe I should start searching by examining the strange box by the window that just happened to pop up out of nowhere. Box? How in Hades name did this get here? What kind of beastie are you? Hmm, seems like a shy little fellow. Just wait, I'm going to get you. I can't reach it. That might come in handy. I see two problems here. First, the little creature flees to the ceiling as soon as I get close with the arm. Huh, maybe I can paralyze it for a while. Second, I'm only going to hurt it with the arm. I should concentrate on cutting the cobweb thread. <gasps> oh, it won't move. Seems like the wheel it is attached to is too rusty. Father says, in contrast to common belief, only Vampire X can keep vampires away, whereas Garlic only drives off the people you love. On the tag, it says, warning, may irritate the eyes. using blankets to play ghosts years ago. The real dead are so easily offended. I have no idea what to look up. Just look at all these beautiful glowing lights inside the jar. Father gave them to me as a death day present. He says they're called hot spots whatever that means. There is some sticky sweet mucus at the bottom. Probably it has been used to attract the fireflies. Ugh. 
Ugh. Seems like Father brought a souvenir from one of his last reapings. Very oily. It's much too small. For me? I got no time to read it now, but I'm going to write about my heroic deeds later. Oh, no time for redecoration. Hmm, what now? Good idea, but I can't reach it. Great idea. The skeleton arm serves as an extension for the scythe. Now, I just need something to use my new invention with. Good idea, but the little guy escapes to the ceiling as soon as I get close. If I could only distract him somehow. Limby, I need a hand here. Oh, <laughs> it worked. Fly, little hot spots. Your time in captivity is over. Oh, they don't leave. They want to stay with me, their savior, so we can go on adventures together. <laughs> Okay. I don't see a reason why I should do this. I hope this doesn't hurt too bad. <laughs> Why do I have the feeling that it's making fun of me? Maybe if I place this in here, my spidery friend will get stuck in the sweet mucus at the bottom. <sighs> oh, it won't move. Seems like the wheel it is attached to is too rusty. to do the trick. Okay, let's give this another try. Whoa, that ectoplasm is one hell of a lube. <laughs> yes! I 
can't reach it. Nope. Let's put the lid back. Gotcha. <laughs> I won. Aw, don't cry. Let me suggest something. If I let you out of that jar, will you be a good demon creature and stay in my pocket? Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. Okay, little friend. I have a mission for you. Can you squeeze through that crack into my father's study and get me the keys to my door? Oh, good. <laughs> You're so cute. Good luck. I should keep an eye on this eye. Don't forget, you should bring me the keys to my room. Don't leave me hanging. Thanks, little friend. So, how do I find out what kind of plant you are? Ooh, let's see if I can find my two planty friends in here. A magical identification key. Well, that's what I call a coincidence.
this is it. This looks exactly like the plant from Father's study. White Widow, also known as Hypno's Finest. Known for its narcotic effect, which is, unfortunately, so weak that it only kicks in when the subject is already very tired. <sighs> Perfect. And here goes the second one, Acheron Swamp Trumpet. Famous for amplifying the subject's perception of music and therefore used as a party drug by the river spirits. I don't see a reason why I should do this. But don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. Unexpected. <laughs> but don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. Sweet dreams! <laughs> Finally, the key to my door. Let's get out of here. What are you doing? You can't... Just great. Whoa. That feels weird. Wait. 
What's happening? Everything around me seems to be... Dissolving. I think I don't feel so good. Hi, my name is Jonas. I'm from Germany and I make adventure games. Okay, let's give this another try. At the moment, I'm working on... Prim. A drop-dead, charming, creepy but cute point-and-click adventure game. Whoa. Too long for you? No problem. Let me put it this way. Imagine Monkey Island. But Tim Burton made the art and Terry Pratchett wrote the story, inspired by Greek mythology. That's basically what it feels like to play Prim. Oh, and it's in black and white. You play as Prim, Death's daughter, who receives a call for help from a human boy. Unfortunately, her father would never allow her to travel to the land of the living. So Prim tricks her dad. But when she finally reaches Earth, it turns out to be just as dangerous as her father told her it would be. What kind of beastie are you? At its core, Prim is a pretty traditional point-and-click adventure game, but with modern perks such as HD graphics, a one-click interface and an optional hotspot display. And hey, we got a cute little spider eye that is Prim's sidekick. Just great. You can already play our demo, which is, by the way, fully voiced in English. I'm not a baby. I'm much too old for rocking horses. And German. Wenn du mich fragst, klingen alle diese Sprachen, als wären sie komplett ausgedacht. The final game will have a playtime of about six to eight hours. We're confident that we'll be able to release it in 2022. That all sounds pretty ambitious, right? Yes! Well, here's where you guys come in. My team and I, we need your help to make Prim look, move, and sound. I can't let it climb out of the window. It's much too high. As good as possible. And of course, you get something in return. Apart from the game itself, the Becker rewards include a digital art book and the game soundtrack. And we also have some pretty cool physical rewards, like our cute little prim doll. Why do I have the feeling that it's making fun of me? Or the big box version of the game that comes in a handmade wooden coffin. So why are you still watching this video? Let's make this game happen together. Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. Thank you.